Probably you saw in movies that defibrillator was used in the case of a flatline heart rhythm. But can it really help? This and more you can see in this video. Cardiac arrest is a loss of blood flow due to the failure of heart to pump the blood effectively. The main feature of this condition is the absence of carotid pulse. There are four main cardiac rhythm abnormalities that are registered during cardiac arrest. Pulseless ventricular tachycardia, ventricular fibrillation, asystole, and pulseless electrical activity. It's reasonable to divide these cardiac arrhythmias into shockable and non-shockable. Pulseless ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation belong to shockable rhythms. Asystole and pulseless electrical activity belong to non-shockable rhythms. In the case of shockable rhythms, a defibrillator should be used. The defibrillator delivers an electrical current to the heart leading to a depolarization of all cardiac muscle cells that ends arrhythmia. Then the sinoatrial knot restores the normal heart rhythm. Pulseless ventricular tachycardia causes too frequent ventricular contractions that there is no time for the heart to refill. This results in insufficient blood flow to tissues and undetectable pulse. Ventricular fibrillation is defined as quivering of ventricular walls. There are frequent fine waves of different amplitude and frequency at ECG. If we see a flat line at ECG monitor without any waves, this state is defined as an asystole. There is neither heart contraction nor quivering. Pulseless electrical activity, also called electromechanical dissociation, is a type of cardiac arrest in which there is heart rhythm that should produce the pulse, but the pulse is absent. In this case, there is an electrical activation of the cardiac muscle cells, but cardiac output is too low to produce the pulse or is completely absent. This leads to the insufficient blood supply of body tissues. In the case of asystole and pulseless electrical activity, a cardiopulmonary resociation with chest compressions and mechanical ventilation are essential. This may improve the amplitude and occur of the ventricular fibrillation, which may be eliminated with the help of the defibrillator. Current guidelines don't recommend to use the defibrillator in the non-shockable rhythms. According to current recommendations, the defibrillator should be used only in the case of pulseless ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation. In these arrhythmias, a work of the cardiac muscle cells is firing asynchronously. There is disorganized electrical activity. The defibrillator performs the shock that leads to the depolarization of all cardiomyocytes resulting in a synchronous depolarization of the myocardium. Then a natural pacemaker begins to work and the normal cardio rhythm is restored. In asystole, there is no electrical activity of the heart. The shock is used only for the resynchronization of cardiomyocytes activity. It cannot restore an electrical activity when the last one is absent. Typically, in movies, people with a flat line at ECG have a stable sinus rhythm after the defibrillation. But is it completely ineffective in the asystole? Despite the fact that the current guidelines don't recommend defibrillation in patients with flat line ECG, it may be helpful in some patients. Why does it occur? At first, not all asystole are true asystole. For example, false asystole can be found at ECG monitor due to a technical error. Also, increased body weight may hide fine waves occurring in the case of ventricular fibrillation. As well, fibrillation waves may be too small to detect at ECG. This leads to misdiagnosis of the asystole and an incorrect management.
According to the field study, 35% of patients with the Asystole had coordinated cardiac motion. It was associated with better survival. There are articles describing cases of an immediate shock treatment of the Asystole leading to the restoration of normal heart rhythm. In such patients, the echocardiography may show a fibrillation or coordinated cardiac motion, although ECG shows the flat line. Use of the echocardiography in patients with asystole would improve diagnosis and thus survival. But nowadays, current guidelines advise not to use the fibrillation in the case of asystole. Why do almost all people with cardiac arrest in movies present with asystole? This is due to the fact that asystole is much easier to simulate than ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation. Just the electrodes should be disabled from the human. Can defibrillator restore cardiac activity in the patient with asystole? We think you can answer this question after watching this video. Thanks for watching this video. Please comment, subscribe and hit the like button.